Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be recreating this look right here from Sweetie. Because when I saw this look, girl, I was living for it. So I just think it would be fun to try to go ahead and recreate that. I know I'm looking a little crazy right now, but we gonna get there, okay? We gonna get there. <laughs> So I went ahead and deep conditioned my hair. I use this Cantu deep conditioning mask right here um, and you know just detangled my hair, washed it, all that stuff and it's sitting right now so that's why I look a little crazy with this grocery bag on my head because I don't have no shower caps. <laughs> but if you ain't never had a shower cap before and you were struggling you already know you've put in a grocery bag on your head too to lock in the moisture. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and get started with our skin. It's very, very important. My face is freshly washed. I've also applied some witch hazel to it to kind of just calm it down a little bit. As y'all can see, I'm really <laughs> fighting with a few blemishes right now and a lot, a lot of hyperpigmentation. So we're just gonna go ahead and protect our skin. I'm applying this Cetaphil moisturizer for oily skin. Honestly, I've been using this for about almost a year and a half now and it has quickly become one of my favorites. Okay, so the next product that I'm gonna be using is the NYX Bear With Me Skin Mist. This is what it looks like. Basically, you can use it as a primer to set it, to refresh your makeup, any kind of thing like that. It smells very, very nice. It is sensitive skin friendly. If you use it as a setting spray, it will give you more of a dewy finish. Honestly, this is one of my favorites for summer. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this on as well, just to really lock in some more moisture. For foundation, I am going to be using the Juvia's Place in 500 Bogota because your girl has quickly fallen in love with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of that onto my face. One thing I like about this foundation, if you haven't watched my review already, um, is basically the fact of how full coverage this bitch is because, I mean, look at that. Look <laughs> at that bitch. Okay. Okay, so now that we're done with foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of concealer to highlight. I'm using the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer um, in the shade Tan Sand. Honestly, if you look at this applicator, it's literally the same exact thing as Shape Tape and this is five dollars. Um, what I can say is the formula, it, it, it does dry down a little bit faster than the Shape Tape and I feel like the formula is a little bit more um, liquidy. But as for the performance and like how it lasts and stuff, honestly I feel like it's the exact same as the Shape Tape. So I've been using this one as well for a while. And I'm pretty satisfied with how it has been performing. Okay, and once I'm done laying down that concealer, I'm dipping right into the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, setting powder. This is in the shade Banana. As you can see, it is very brightening. And then I'm really only focusing this banana powder on where I tend to get the most oiliest. Um, just because... I don't want to have this shade all over my face. It might end up looking a little bit um, washed out or ashy. So for the rest of my face, I am going to dip into the Fenty um, setting powder in the shade Honey and just lightly tap that everywhere else. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in and contour. I am using the Benefit Ace That Face. So we're dipping into this Hoola bronzer right here and just gonna go ahead and start contouring with it and just warming up the, my overall face. Now, like I said, overall, the entire face look is just very, very, very soft. I may have already overdone it, but <laughs> we're just gonna continue on 
I'm looking at the picture right now and it really doesn't look like she's wearing that much blush. So I'm going to be very, very light handed, especially with this shade from Juvia's Place. It is Bella. She's very bright. She's very, <laughs> very bright. And overall, from what I could tell, their blushes are just super pigmented. Um, but, but we're going to use this amount for both cheeks because... It is very easy to go overboard with <laughs> um, the Juvia's blushes. Her brows in the picture, um, they're not much of an arch. I feel like for the most part it goes with how my natural shape is. You can see, I mean I don't really have that much eyebrows to work with, but um, for the most part, it's just a straight and then down. So I'm going to try my best to recreate this. Um, we'll see how this shape does. I know when my friend does my makeup, she ends up doing this exact same brow shape. Um, <laughs> but for me, I just, I don't know, I just cannot do it. So we're going to go ahead and try our best with these brows. After I do these brows, I'll check back in with y'all and we'll go from there. These are the brows that we're working with today. This is as best as I could get it. Now, for the eyelids, I'm literally going to keep it so, so simple, you guys. I'm going to dip into the same exact shade that we used for our contour. And then I'm using this little tiny fluffy br brush right here. And we're going to just dip in and apply that all over to the crease. And the reason I'm using the same exact shade that we contoured with is because if you look at her makeup, it's it looks like it's all just like tied together all nice in one. And the whole point I feel like with her look was it was very, very natural, but it was also like very glam. Next, I'm going to dive into the Love You So Mochi palette or Mochi, I don't know, um, but it's by NYX. Uh, the colors in this palette, very, very nice. Um, there is a couple of different shades in here, a couple different pinks in here, I should say, because um, it looks like she has more of a pink look on her lid. So I might use a mixture of these two shades right here. They're very nice, very reflective. I definitely am going to use a combination of both of those shades. And I'm literally just going to dip right in with my fingers and apply it so the pink shade is really pink it was more well i mean i guess it's not that pink but it's just, it was more than i expected so i'm gonna go in with the iridescent pink and just lay that on top i really love the reflux of that shade because bitch it just looks so so nice and then using my blending brush again i'm just gonna go ahead and soften those edges Okay, so literally like two steps for eyeshadow. I am going to add just a little bit more of the contour to the outer corner that, <laughs> um, just to give it a little bit more depth and darken it up a little bit. Alright, if y'all hear a little puppy going in the background, you already know it's Willow. She just want to say hi to y'all. So, um, But also I'm going to take another blush. Willow! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to just apply that underneath my eyes. Alright, so taking a damp pointer brush, I am going to go ahead and dip into this nice iridescent soft pink and put that into the inner corner just to really brighten it up because you can see that her inner corner highlight is definitely there. It's not super intense, but it is nice um, to like really make this look pop. And then she does have it below the brow bone as well. If you guys are interested in what palette I'm using, I am using the ColourPop Build Your Own palette. Honestly, this is not sponsored, but I mean, I wish it was because everybody keeps asking me about this palette. Um, but yeah, I just picked up all these shades and, you know, I, I'm living for it. The pigmentation is actually really good. Okay, so I just went ahead and lined my eyes with the NYX um, little eye pencil. I am going to go ahead and put on some lashes and mascara. 
and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Lashes are on henty. Now let's go on and move to the lips. First things first, I'm going to be using the Nude Suede by NYX. I think this is a light enough color. And we're just going to go ahead and line the lips. Now I can say from using this lip liner, it is super, super velvety. Like it does not pull on your lips at all, which I was very surprised by. Now her lips look very, very reflective, very cute, very pouty. So what I'm going to use for the lips is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss. This is what it looks like. Very nice, very holographic. I have it in the shade Head in the Clouds. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the lips. Okay, so now that we're done with lips, taking the NYX Matte Finish Spray, I'm gonna go ahead and mist this on. So we can lock in this glamorous look. And for highlight, it honestly looks like she has some kind of holographic highlight going on. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and the same exact color we used on the inner corner and brow, I'm going to use on the cheeks to just really help tie everything in together. Just like that. And honestly, if you aren't using duochrome eyeshadows for highlight you are literally missing out that's gonna be it for the face what I'm gonna do is rinse out this deep conditioner and we're gonna move on to the hair okay I'm back my hair is freshly washed detangled all that good stuff so we're gonna dive right on into it this is the gel that I'm gonna be using it's the Ampro Pro Styling gel I'm using this gel because it doesn't leave any white residue or anything like that and it just locks in my style the entire day now the baby hairs are on this side and <laughs> y'all already know they really they real extra, so Ooh, I'm, I never have done this many baby hairs, so y'all, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, all right, so just looking, ooh, that looks a hot mess. Okay, but just looking at the picture, it seems like it's basically almost a clean part for how she laid her baby hairs down. Um, I can't see the opposite side of her head, but I am gonna take just more of a natural amount on this side to kind of balance it out. And then now we're going to go ahead and start forming that high pony. I'm taking some of this brown gel and I'm gonna just begin slicking it all around the perimeter of my hair. Okay, so now that my hair is all covered with the brown gel, I'm just going to start by smoothing it up and working it into that high pony. Hello darkness, my old friend. Wow, well my hair tie broke. <sighs> All right, well my hair tie broke and Honestly, I cannot find another one, so I just tied it back together, and let's hope it works. Bobby pins and the hair ties are, they forever be banishing, so. <laughs> Alright, so this is about where I'm wanting my pony to go, so I'm going to use some freeze blast and spray this all around my hair and use my little edge brush to just make sure there's no flyaways. So now I have my hair in like a traditional three strand braid. And today I'm gonna be using the Bobby Boss um, Unprocessed Brazilian Deep Wave or something. Yeah, so it's still a little bit damp, but I'm gonna leave it damp because it's just easier for me 
to wrap the hair around. This is a kind of a different way to do it, but what I'm starting with is on the braid. I'm going, going to grab one piece, and by taking this little piece, I'm going to be wrapping it around pretty tightly just because this is going to be our starting anchor point for adding this hair in. And then, taking this hair, what I'm going to do is start wrapping it around that exact base as well. And then we're slowly just going to go ahead and start working our way up the braid. Alright, and then now that I'm getting towards the top of this, as you can see, the braid that I used for the foundation is really camouflaged in there. You don't have any natural hair coming out. I'm going to take a strand of hair that's from there and start wrapping it around the base of the braid because this is going to help it not slip either. All right, now taking my second bundle of hair, what I'm gonna do is really just focus it only on this base and just continuing to add volume. So I'm gonna take one piece of hair and just wrap that around the base. Again, this is gonna be your anchor point. And then I'm taking this weft right here and just continuing to wrap that around. And as you keep wrapping, it will become progressively tighter. This is the end of the weft, and as you can see, this is some more strand of hair. So what you wanna do is take that single strand, again, just like we did in the beginning, and wrap that around. I'm taking some hair from the back of the pony and brushing that out. So it's nice and flat. I'm going to spray it with the Got To Be Glued. What this is going to do is help form a nice tight wrap around. Um, like she has going on in that picture. It's going to be nice, flat. And if you need to, just continue to brush it out. Spray and just keep wrapping and then once you're getting towards the end like this little piece right here just pull it and tuck it under just like that and then as you can see you'll your wrap around will be nice and clean okay so now before we get to drying this pony making it a little bit more full what i'm going to do is start working on the baby hairs of course this is the more natural side this is the more extra side so we're going to be using got to be glued to hold these in place all day and for her baby hair she has more of like an s pattern going on so we're gonna try to go ahead and recreate that okay so my brain <laughs> hurts from trying to like see inside my fucking head um, this is the best we're gonna get our baby hairs. I'm not even gonna try to fix them or anything. I think this is what we're going to have to stay with. Okay, so now that we have our baby hairs slicked down and all that, I'm gonna go ahead and change my shirt because the next step I do not want getting messed up. <laughs> um, but I will be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I went ahead and blow dried this ponytail. Now we're just going to go ahead and pick part of it out, add some volume to this look, and get it really full. Now, I almost forgot a very important part of this look, and she actually has little gemstones on her face. So lucky me, I found probably just enough to do this. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and put them on. What I'm gonna use to stick them to my face is this eyelash glue. 
Um, I feel like that's always the easiest form when you're trying to stick uh, <laughs> different types of gems or even glitter to your face. Eyelash glue is usually the way to go. So right now I'm just going to take some and start dotting it all around just like she does in the picture. And basically they just line the perimeter of her baby hairs. Now I'm just literally taking an eyeliner so that I can pick up the gemstones a lot easier. <laughs> and she does have a few variety of sizes on. So I'm going to try to like alternate. So that is it for today's look. Honestly, I feel like it came out so, so cute. It's not the exact same as her glam, but I still think it looks very, very cute overall. The only thing I would probably change would be accessories, but I think with the short amount of time, bitch, we completely transformed. Y'all already know what a bitch was looking like in the beginning. <laughs> And it was a nightmare, so, um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun recreating this look. Shout out to Sweetie, shout out to her glam squad for giving me this inspiration to recreate y'all's look. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.